Let's take a look at the number of lone pairs and bonding pairs of electrons in CS2. This is carbon disulfide. So when we look at the Lewis structure, we need to start with a valid Lewis structure. We're normally talking about the central atom when we're talking about lone pairs and bonding pairs. And that's because the central atom, that's the one that really influences the molecular geometry for something like CS2. We can note that we have one, two, three, four pairs of electrons. This line represents a pair of electrons. It's a single bond. So we have four pairs of electrons and they're between the atoms. That means these are bonding pairs of electrons right here. One, two, three, four bonding pairs of electrons. And there aren't any lone pairs. There are no lone pairs for CS2. We could look at lone pairs on the sulfur here, for example. This is lone pair and a lone pair here. So this sulfur here has two lone pairs, and then this one over here, that would be the same. But in general, we're really interested in that central atom because it influences the molecular geometry. So in answer to our question, carbon disulfide has one, two, three, four bonding pairs of electrons and no lone pairs. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.